Okay, let's keep going. We're in Article 334, which is non-metallic sheath cable type, NM cable or NMC cable. Um, I don't know how to say it other than just to say it. This is a tough change. Um, I, I tried to get them to change this at the, at the public comment stage and it got rejected. I, I think this is a bad mistake. It's a terrible code change. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, if you do residential, if you do NM cable or SE cable especially, or UF cable, uh, this change is going to change the way you wire buildings. So make sure you understand this change and understand it well. This is 334.24 bending radius. Let's take a look and see what they did. Okay, well, 334.24, bending radius. The bending radius requirements for flat cables were clarified. <laughs> they certainly were. Similar changes were made to Articles 338 for SE cable and 340 for UF cable. If you install SE cable, it really depends on what type of cable you install. In my area, all the SE cable that we see is SER, which is round. This change doesn't change the rules for SER at all. Um, in other parts of the country, especially on the East Coast, you'll see a lot of SEU installed, which is Service Entrance Unarmored. Now, SEU is kind of an oval-shaped flat cable. This change is a really big change if you use SE cable. So let's look at what it says. Bending radius. Bends must not damage the cable sheath. Fine. The inner radius of the curve of a bend must be at least five times the widest cable diameter. All right, so previous versions of the code, it didn't tell you how to measure for the bending radius. It said you have to have five times the width of the cable, and it's like, or the diameter, I think is what it said. Okay, well, if you have a flat cable, what am I measuring? Am I measuring the, the, the width, or am I measuring the thickness? In my opinion, it depends on which direction you're bending the cable. If you're bending the cable kind of in a, a strange way, right, kind of like that, if you're bending it that way, then you need a pretty substantial bending radius so that you're not damaging the cable sheath. And, and probably about this radius is what we're looking at, maybe even a little bit more of a sweep. But if you're bending the cable, like you're pulling it through studs, and you're bending it this way, like we normally do, well then why on earth would the width of the jacket change how tight I can bend it along this axis. The only thing that matters when I'm bending it in this dimension is the thickness of the cable. But the code was changed to say, okay, you're always gonna use the width of the cable because before we didn't tell you, before we relied on judgment and, and rationality, quite frankly, you know, a person figuring out, okay, <laughs> why would the, the width of the cable change how tight I can bend it? Well, it, it shouldn't but now it does. So take a look at the two cables here. Here I've got two different 12-2 NM cables, and I'm not trying to be super accurate here. I mean, this is, what, three-eighths of an inch in width, and this is three-quarters or so. So that's a, a you know, a, a twice the, the, the width. So these have different bending radii now. Think of how ridiculous that is. So if I'm, measure, if I'm bending the cable this way, should have the same bending radius requirements, right? Because the thickness of the cable should be the only thing that matters. Well, it's not anymore. It's the width of the cable that dictates how, how uh, tight I can bend it in this radius. I can tell you right now for a fact, 12-2, the bending radius was about the diameter of a golf ball. And that allows for a pretty tight bend without damaging the jacket, but it should. Because look, you can bend 12-2 NM cable quite tight without damaging the jacket. I mean, give me a break. That jacket is perfectly fine. There's a tiny little wrinkle, but it's not hurting anything. Now, if I have the same cable under the 2023 code, I've got to bend the radius like, like for the diameter of, uh, of a tennis ball or so. Or actually, I, I think it was more like a, like a softball. You got to have a nice, loose bending radius like that. So this is tough. This is a, a tough change. They make cables that are quite wide. This one here has two uh, you know, power and lighting conductors and then power control signaling conductors, a pair of like, you know, for zero to 10 dimming or whatever the application is. 
They also make uh, an NM cable that's even wider than this. Uh, that's that's specifically for some other applications for uh, oh, what do you call it? The uh, uh, the mini duct, you know, split uh, uh, split system, right? A ductless mini split, ductless mini split split system. So they make some cables that are very wide, and the bending diameter is going to have to be extreme. But here's the thing: what if you're using SEU cable and you're going through a stud and going? I I don't think with SEU cable, I I don't even know how you can go through the bottom of a stud and make a 90 degree bend with S with uh with SEU I, I don't think it's possible so this is a tough change and it's going to take some getting used to I'm 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 just going to say it I hope they change it back in the 2026 uh, I know a lot of people are really upset with this change but you know we'll uh, we'll see what happens for right now this is the rule see you guys in the next video